around the cup shop. So we're gonna get fingerprints done for my business. I need fingerprints. Gotta go to GP. Get some paperwork. Signed out. That sink there cost me around and a half thousand dollars. So as you can see, it's portable, so it's not actually plugged into the house. I wasn't allowed to do some plumbing in the house yet. That happened before COVID hit, and uh, it was fine about and what I'm using, and they said oh, I was, it was fine to use it. But now I have to pay for proper plumbing. So, this pretty good. Yep, I mean, these are the two drain ports. You, you, you won't probably use that one. Come in and check out the building and what that means is he's gonna tell me what I need to fix before the council comes in so if he passes me he's gonna sign the papers and then we send in our form to the council and that takes two weeks till they come in and check out the studio That's You just get, um, before you kick off, just the soap and towels for the, the hand Yeah, it's coming Monday. Get those in, yeah. yeah. So as soon as it's on, it's in. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Okay, and everyone else looks good. No, it's come up, come up good. Thank so you. I'm, uh, yeah, I'll do the paperwork and you'll get your license probably sometime next week or you can operate without it. It's just a little bit. Yeah. So he can start Monday? Yeah. All right. So, What's up? A lot has happened since the last vlog. I think it's been about a month and a lot has happened since the last So last episode, we were on a high and everything was looking bright and then a lot of stuff happened. This is the recap. Got some good news if you do follow, if you don't follow, but I got some good news at the end of the vlog. Since the last vlog, I've had uh, COVID people come through my house with three cops. Oh, there was two cops and four suited people that came to my house. Apparently they're COVID, they're checking out businesses. So they just randomly rocked up one day, wanted to come through and check out the business and what I've been up to, where I am. And it came through, they checked out my business, they think, they think everything's okay. And all I had to do was put in some new soap machine at the entrance of the door and a new COVID bar. Uh, and a new COVID um, QR code. So that's what I had to do. So no, no big deal from them, it was just a shock. And then both cars broke down, the Beamer broke down and my truck broke down. It was literally right after the other. Uh, the Beamer broke down first and then the truck broke down. The Beamer was going to cost us too much to fix so we decided to get rid of it. Truth to be told, it was costing us a lot of money just to keep that car on the road. So the one thing about BMWs is it gives you the type of feeling, not better than everybody else, but you feel like you've got this new persona and this new attitude towards everybody else. Any European vehicles, it gives you that type of feeling that like you are somebody, but realistically, how much does your feeling cost? So I've got another goal is to buy her another car, but this time it's not gonna be European. <laughs> got the truck fixed, so that's
thing he said that I needed to do was to put a new skirting on the side to put up a new skirting because the skirting is supposed to be 50 centimeters or 50 mil from the floor when I put the floor in it took away 0.5 so instead of 50 mil it was like 45 so he said I have to add another 0.5 on top so what I did is I put on another skirting and I just kind of like sealed it and made it look like it's just one piece I'll show you anyway So I had to get, well, this is the original skirting and this is the floor. So when I put the floor in, I didn't put it under the skirting. So it took away that much. So it took away 0.5. So what I had to do is put another skirting on the top and then seal it here, make it look like one. I mean, tough. So also he said, just keep an eye on the bricks because um, it could crumble or whatever it is. I don't know what he was saying, but he said, just keep an eye on that. Eventually try and figure out to fix it realistically i don't want to spend any more money in the studio like i said all the guy has to do is put another bathroom downstairs and he can make this a two house not a one house We also, went to, we also went to a wedding, it was a backyard wedding. It was a, a family and a best friend of ours. So this is a small footage of the day and it was a beautiful day. Congratulations to you, congratulations.
you guys enjoy it. Uh, like I said, if you don't follow me on Instagram or, or Facebook, you never see these stories. So these stories have been posted, like I think the wedding happened like two weeks ago or something like that. So we made it. We made it guys and, and uh, thank you for everybody that's been watching the journey, watching the journey of me building the whole studio, being there with me with the whole journey of starting Tattoo Studio. The reason why I did this is just in case people out there that want to know how to start a business or any type of business in their homes. Not even like tattooing. Tattooing is pretty hard because there's a lot more to just like starting a studio. There's uh, the safety, there's COVID, there's uh, everything has to be sanitized, there's your equipment. It's different to selling t-shirts and everything else, you know what I'm saying? So my business is a little bit tougher than any, than any other business. So if you guys want to start a shirt business, it will be way easier than what I had to go through. This is just for people that want to start a um, tattoo studio at their house and I wanted to show them the whole process. What you have to do, the rules, how much it costs, and what you have to build. During the whole build of the studio, I learned a lot about myself. Uh, I had to become a builder. I had to do a little bit of tiling. I had to grind out a tile, never done that before. I had to paint, achieved everything, and thank you everybody for uh, support. And I thank my wife for everything. And, um, So my grand opening was supposed to happen last weekend for the tattoo and uh, that didn't happen because as you all know, if you don't know, it's been raining here in Brisbane for the last two weeks. So I cancelled the party and I, I'm moving it to this Sunday, Saturday or Sunday because I really want this party to go and I want to move on and enjoy myself for the rest of the year. And also, I want to show everybody the new studio that uh, has been built and it's been passed by council and I uh, hope to see everybody there. Hope to see everybody that I invited there. Look, if you want to do something, do it. I'm not a smart person. I'm just a regular guy. You know, I didn't finish school. I didn't pass grades. I didn't learn this in school. I learned this on my own. I'm sure there's a lot of you people out there that's exactly like me. That's not, don't, don't think that you are worth nothing. You are worth something. I am proof of what you guys can do. I'm exactly like you guys, I'm nothing different. But you have your own goals in life. Everybody is good at something. My family used to tell me that I'm good at nothing. Drawing is not gonna put food on the table and look what happened. And I am the first person in my family that started his own business, that actually owned a business. So it's something I hold dear to my heart. I will do anything for this business. I will die for this business because there's a lot that comes behind owning this business, this history. There was a heartache. Uh, not believing yourself a couple of times. Uh, it was a long struggle to get to where I am now. But all I'm saying is if I can do it, you guys can do it too. If you know who I am, I'm just a regular person. I grew up around a certain type of people and I didn't finish school. It doesn't mean I say don't finish school. Please finish school. It'll make things a little bit easier because I didn't make my life a little bit harder. And because I didn't have any goals or anything to do in life for myself, I just went along and did the nine to five job and hated it at the same time. Again, I'm not trying to say to everybody out there, quit your job and do, do it. Don't do that. Uh, there's a time, there's timing for everything. So find your right time. You know when it's time to move on and start working with, for yourself. You will know.